the correct YouTube export options in Photoshop? Don't worry, I've got you covered. So with Photoshop open, go to File, New. So make sure this is a web document, set your color mode to RGB color. Your resolution, you can change to 72 because this is for web and then set your width to 1280 and your height to 720. Keep your orientation as landscape and make sure you're using pixels. You can name file now. If you want, you can go and do that later. So I'll leave it as untitled. Once you're ready, click create. So here's one I did earlier and essentially you're working to dimensions of 1280 by 720. So just a couple of things to be mindful of when designing a YouTube thumbnail. So if I turn on my stamp here, on every thumbnail preview, no matter where it is on YouTube, you're going to have the length of the video in the bottom right, and you'll also have your progress bar as well. Also in the top left, you'll have your add to playlist, watch later options. So when working with text, just make sure it's big, it's central, and try not to put any important information in the corners. For example, if I turn on my character thumbnail here, turn on the Photoshop icon, I wouldn't want to put the Photoshop icon in this corner because obviously it would be covered by the length of the video. So once you've designed your thumbnail and you're happy with everything, make sure it's saved and then you're simply going to come to File, Export, Export As. You can save as JPEG, PNG or GIF and you've got up to 2 meg to play with. So I'm going to save it as a JPEG and what I'm going to do is turn on the 2 up so that I can see the size of the JPEG. Like I said, 2 meg to play with, so you can put the quality of the JPEG really high. Keep your dimensions at 1280 by 720. And once you're happy then with the thumbnail, you can simply click export, select where you want to save it. I'm going to put mine in the images folder and then simply press save. So there you have it. There's your YouTube thumbnail export options when designing in Photoshop. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep on designing. I'll see you for the next tutorial.